Welcome to Glow's Kinder Kitchen and I'm Glow. Today we're going to be making a side dish to go with our dinner for tomorrow and we're having turkey tomorrow. So I'm making a cranberry orange relish to go along with it. And the recipe I use, I have used for years, actually since we've been married. It came out of my Betty Crawford cookbook that I still use. So anyway, let's get started. What I do every year when the cranberries are in season and come in a, a bag like this at your grocery store, I buy several of them and I put them in my freezer to use throughout the year. And they come in so handy like for cranberry orange muffins or like a relish like I'm doing right now. Um, I would just recommend you at least put one or two bags in there if you have room. But that's the reason why I have this today. So anyway, um, a food processor really helps to make this easy to make. And it calls for one bag of your cranberries and one navel orange, which I've cut up into bite-sized pieces. And you're supposed to add the pulp and the rind as well. And then you stir in at the very end two cups of white sugar. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a little noisy, just so you know. We have some that got stuck um, at the top that need to be ground up just a little. So let's check it out. It's pretty good though, isn't it? Looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and push that down so we can get all of the orange combined in there. And I always unplug my appliances like that. You know, even though they're safety features, you just never know. So when I'm working with a sharp blade, that's what I do. Safety first, Miss Glow. Yep. Better be safe than sorry. Oh, and here's the cranberry that fell out. So we'll just put that back in. He didn't want to get it ground up. Now what's going on? Oh, another safety feature. Yep. Oh yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the stuff off of the lid. And we'll put that over here, get it out of the way. And we're going to unplug it. And then we're just going to remove this right off of there. And get this out of the way. Now we're going to put it in this bowl so it'll be easier to mix up that sugar with it because I like to stir it in. Isn't that a pretty color? Very pretty. So pretty, Miss, Miss Glow. Oops. Move this blade. 
These blades are so sharp though, you gotta be very careful. to do is to combine and stir in two cups of sugar. So that's one. Let's put this. And I usually try to do this the day before so that it all gets, you know, seasoned well, and all the ingredients get combined and meld well together. This is just the easiest recipe, and so yummy. Of course, if you were diabetic, you wouldn't want it with the two cups of sugar in it, but I guess a little bit wouldn't hurt you. As I get close to the end of adding the sugar, I usually test it, and quite often I don't even end up using the full two cups. Just taste this and see what it's like. I actually think that's plenty. That's uh, what, about a cup and a half then? Cup and maybe two thirds. Okay. And I think one of the reasons I don't always add the two cups anymore is because when this recipe was written years ago, because I've had this cookbook now, we've had it for over 40 years, like going on 44. Back then we ate a lot of stuff that had more sugar in it, but we're more conscious of what we put sugar in and because we don't want to get diabetes and we want to stay healthy. So I think we're just used to not having as much sugar in our food. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this and um, let me know if you like it. Um, we'll talk to you later. Bye.